Hey friends, hope life is finding you well. This is Nick Borrego from Converge Audio. In this video, I want to teach you a quick way on how to do reverse sounds. You can do it one of two ways where you can reverse an actual recorded sound that you've used through any input that you've provided, or you can bounce in place to create a reverse sound from MIDI that you have within the vast library of instruments that Logic comes with on top of what else you may feel you want to use. So let's start out with just a recorded sound. Let's just do my voice for right now. Let's hit record and just, we'll just put down a little bit of my voice right here as, as a bit of recorded audio for demonstrating purposes. Demonstrative, demonstrating, whatever. Now, what we want to do is double click on the actual sound wave you put down. If you come down into here inside your file, after you double click, it pulls up this window. Click on file now. Inside this little bit will be functions. Functions will then pull up a little menu where boom, reverse is right there. Now what that does is that flips all the sound completely backwards. Here, we'll check out the playback. Fairly terrifying, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and that will be the way that you create reverse sounds from audio. Let's go back into how we can use that with MIDI because usually what ends up happening is you will create a MIDI track, but then it is what it is. But because of the feature called bounce in place that allows us to turn that into an audio file like the one we just used. So let's go ahead and add another track, plus signs, software instrument, create. All right, now I usually get rid of this menu because I'm not a big fan of the huge icons in this new version of Logic. Anyway, okay, so let us decide on synthesizer sounds use the ESP and then we'll test that out see where we're at on default okay to really get a great effect on that reverse sound flips you want to have a nice tail end to it I mean just for this purpose I mean that's not always the case it's kind of subjective and circumstantial but for the purpose of this demonstration let's go ahead and that release a little longer that sustain the DK We'll leave that attack nice and high so that when you initially hit that key, it just has a nice uh, initial attack that's just really strong. So let me do this. Let me double this track here, and I will mute that previous one so we don't keep getting playback on that, but then you can still hear my voice. Okay, so now on this instrument track, we're going to go ahead and play back some of this these keys. So let's go ahead and hit record and then put some of those down the way you'd hear them normally. Okay, what we've done is we've created a sequence of MIDI events and there is only what you can do within how MIDI operates and that's only going to be based on what's provided inside of the library. The way you can take a step out of that and take control and now be able to reverse that is what is called bounce in place. If you right click on the region, it will bring up a little bit of a menu here. And then what you can do is scroll down to bounce in place. It's gonna give you a few different options. You can rename it what you want. Let's go ahead and just name it just for the just for the sake of that. Okay. Destination is going to ask you where you want that new one to go, because you're gonna create an additional track when you do this. When you bounce in place, you're really only messing with that one region. It's going to create a new track. So do we want to just have a brand new track or leave it on the selected track? And we don't want to do that. We want to go to a new track source, leave the source so the source still exists. You can always mute the source or delete the source upon doing it. We'll go ahead and just leave it as it is and go ahead and bounce that in place. Hit OK. All right. What we have now is an audio file that represents that MIDI sequence. Okay, so instead of MIDI, we are now audio. MIDI, audio, all right. What does that allow us to do? You guessed it, folks. It's exactly what we were able to do in that last one. You go up to that, double click it. It will bring up that file down at the bottom. Click on functions, hit reverse. It's gonna do all that flipping around. Play it back and enjoy your newly reversed synthesizer keys.
And there you go. Quick way to just learn how to do reverse sounds. I'm Nick Bregel. This is Converge Audio. I hope you found this in any way useful. I think this is one of the first tricks that I wanted to learn how to do when I was first getting into this, just to, to hear the way I could experiment with reversing sounds. Probably had a little bit to do with Time by Hans Zimmer, the way that piano does that on, on the Time, uh, kind of that theme song for Inception. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like, comment, or subscribe. Um, definitely hit us up with any questions or go to convergeaudio.com to check out some of our previous work on some films and video games we have worked on. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And as a great philosopher's Bill and Ted once said, be excellent to each other.